This is Jamie Kimball, a beautiful and bright young woman, an avid Panthers fan, a daughter, and a friend. But Jamie's life ended when she was just 31. An ex-boyfriend killed her. Since then, her parents have been on a mission to save lives. And now they have a new way to do that, which they are sharing first tonight with Channel 9's Allison Lottis. Ron and Jan Kimball tell me they saw warning signs about their daughter's relationship, but admit they were naive, never thinking domestic violence could happen to their family. They've been working to teach the community that we all pay a price for domestic violence, and now they want us to know just how high that price is. Family and friends were just very important. Pictures of Jamie Kimball's bright smile fill her parents' Charlotte home. She was thoughtful and she was generous and she was loving and she was compassionate. This is kind of the sports section um, devoted to Jamie. This but in 2012, Scott Ron and Jan had to stop adding to this collection of photos. Jamie was killed at the hands of her ex-boyfriend. She never thought he would harm her uh, because she saw the good in everybody. So if I had one really poignant thing to share, compassionate women can fall victim to intimate partner violence. Ron and Jan turned their incredible heartache into a mission, creating the Jamie Kimball Foundation for Courage. They're focused on domestic violence prevention, education, awareness, and research. For months, the foundation and professors at UNC Charlotte have been studying the economic impact of domestic violence. Absenteeism from work lost productivity, uh, medical costs, mental health costs, incarceration costs, court costs, policing costs. Experts believe 65% of companies do not have an HR policy related to domestic violence. The Kimballs want to change that here in Charlotte and across the state. If they have to go to the emergency room, if they have to have surgery from being beaten, we're trying to make the businesses realize that it has a direct relationship to them. Our goal is to talk about not only in the emotional side of this, but the, the actual business case side of this, that it's in your own best interest as a company and a business to do something about it. And if we could get them to develop a domestic violence awareness policy and to assist victims and their families to be more proactive rather than reactive, your cost of productivity would go up. Tomorrow, the Jamie Kimball Foundation for Courage will share eye-opening new data on the cost of domestic violence county by county across North Carolina, hoping those numbers will be a wake-up call to companies and that victims who hear Jamie's story will find the courage to escape. We've got to get up and fight. We've got to get up and live. We've got to get up and try to save as many other people as we can. And I'll be at that press conference tomorrow morning where the Jamie Kimball Foundation for Courage reveals the cost of domestic violence. And I'll explain county by county how this tragic crime really affects our community. And the Kimballs have spent so much time trying to stop domestic violence before it starts. And Absolutely. There's some new ways they're working to do that with young people, too. Awareness is a big way. They're reaching out to young people. They've created domestic violence awareness clubs in high schools in North Carolina and in Florida, where Jamie lived. And this February, the foundation is hosting a Teens for Courage Summit. That'll happen at Carowinds where 500 kids will gather yeah. to talk about domestic violence. Teaching young people early, that's the way to stop it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Allison.